What's up, everybody, and welcome to Heavy Metal Hot Sauce. What's going on, guys? Uh, this week, um, we're back with some hella hot sauce. This is one of his newer ones, Cajun Tears. Um, big fan of his, because he is a fellow metalhead, and a lot, he has quite a few sauces where he has collaborated with bands um yeah. and we've done quite a few of them so go check those out notable ones is uh gore he's worked with and a legendary death metal band exhumed that's one of his newer sauces he's always got stuff brewing up so i'm sure there's gonna be stuff coming out really soon but uh yeah without further ado though um this week we have at may um these dudes <laughs> these dudes are brutal Hilarious, awesome, cool dudes. Um, definitely, definitely go check those guys out. Yeah. Good time. Yeah, awesome music videos. But uh, yeah, back to the hella hot sauce. Um, I'm a big fan of Cajun sauces. Yeah, that like well. Southern, you know, style. Cajun's good. Cajun's good. I haven't explored Cajun too, too much, but uh, I've never been let down by it. So, yeah. Let's see here. For ingredients, we have scotch bonnet, pepper, uh, tomato, distilled water, onion, distilled white vinegar, garlic, cayenne pepper, sea salt, herbs, and spices. Mm -mm. So, yeah, that sounds pretty good. I like that it starts off with the scotch bonnet right away. I love scotch bonnet. Scotch bonnet's pretty good. Um, so, yeah. It says it has a medium heat rating as well. You can see here, medium, medium. Um, and also, as you can see here, it's a liquidy sauce. You know, kind of like what you think of like a Louisiana style. Yeah. Um, but it's still got some like some chunkage, some seeds and stuff in there. So that's always a plus. Yeah, it looks um, nice. Let's pop this baby open. No perforation. Oof. Oof. Got it. Yeah. Nice. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, boom. That is what, you know, I would expect from like a Cajun Louisiana style sauce. Ooh. Vinegar and like cayenne ish forward, like. Yeah, yeah, it's hitting me like kind of like like kind of like kind of cayenne sauce, yeah. sort of you know, kind of Louisiana ish kind of weird. Yeah, and honestly, those are some of my favorite sauces. Just ones that I can use on like everything. I have a feeling this is gonna be another one. Very thin. Very thin. <clears throat> Let's see here. Yeah, Go lots ahead. of flex in there. Woo. Smells great on the spoon. Woo. <clears throat> yeah, very thin. Yeah, that vinegar really starts kicking in too. Hmm. Cajun cheers. Cheers. Nailed it! Mm. Wow. Okay. Okay. Mm. Okay. Nailed it. Um, the heat is actually a little more than I was expecting. Not meaning like it's like a crazy amount. I was really expecting it to be pretty low. Um, I would give this like a two to a three. Um, it's still fairly well, probably a two, yeah. But it it was just a little higher than I thought it was gonna be. A little bit, a little bit, like a little bit more heat. It's still pretty low for me. Yeah, definitely nothing too crazy that uh, some people are gonna have trouble with. It's still pretty doable heat. Yeah, it's definitely more than just a, uh, Louisiana or something, but yeah, it's nothing crazy. Flavor, um, yeah, flavor-wise, it really doesn't pull too many punches. Like it's not reinventing the Cajun sure. Louisiana yeah. style, but you know what? It nails it. Yeah. 
for me, um, that is the exact flavor that I'm looking for when I want that style. Um, heavy vinegar, um, the cayenne, and that scotch bonnet, because I think it's just a little slightly hotter than average, that scotch bonnet is the perfect choice for that to kick it up just a little bit than average. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah for sure. I don't know. I really like this, and I'm going to give this four and a half horns. The only thing that sets it, just that half rating, is the thinness. I understand that those style of sauces are thin, but it's it really will just run. It might run on certain foods, um, but it is so good. You so might need good. a dripper. That one could use a dripper, definitely, but I'm not letting you talk me into that. <laughs> Just um, say, man, dripper. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, flavor-wise, excellent. Everything just slightly too thin. So four and a half horns for me. Nice. Okay. Um, well, I'm gonna give it four horns. Uh, it's a nice overall sauce. I, I like it. You know, it's it's like you said, it's not reinventing the wheel, but it's definitely adding. Uh, it's bringing something to the table that's um, that's still noteworthy. I guess for me, the only thing that would keep it from the five. It, it reminds me of one of his other sauces. I don't know what it is. The onion really kind of shines through after a little bit. Uh, See, yeah. that blows my mind because you know my hatred for onion. I know you do. I and know. It really doesn't stand up to me. And it's, I mean, and not that it's like super overpowering, but it just, it lingers more than anything else. Like it was, after everything was dying down, the aftertaste was just kind of onion-y. But, um, yeah, and I guess the heat as well. If it had just been a little bit hotter, I was surprised. Scotch bonnet being the first one that it wasn't a little bit hotter than it was. But otherwise... It's good sauce. I can see it going like on chicken, things like that, you know, uh, chicken salads. That's what I kind of like with a lot of these kind of sauces. I mean, chicken is kind of like the main thing I usually pair with. Fried chicken. Definitely fried chicken. Of course. Oh, yeah. chicken. Um, I'm actually kind of surprised because we kind of are, we both like this, but we're kind of opposite <laughs> with what we're picking out. Yeah. So that's interesting. Um, but overall, we still both liked it. Yeah. So yeah. that's a good sign, just that alone. Um, yeah, go check his stuff out. Like I said, he, he's doing really cool stuff. Um, I'm a big fan of this one. <laughs> um, yeah, and, uh, you know, hit that bell. Um, subscribe, leave a comment. Uh, if you've had this, let us know what you think. Um, give us a like, and uh, as always, keep it on your feet.